Good morning. How are we guys? Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir number two. And sir number three. And Madame Rue. How are you, lady? Oh, okay. And hello, Senor Hercules. Have a good morning. Okay, bye. busy morning. I had a very productive morning. I still have stuff that I want to get done around the house, which I'll probably film if you guys like seeing that because you guys liked seeing me vacuum my house last time. Maybe I'll do that again this vlog. Um, and I have been listening to A Discovery of Witches because that is what I am reading with my book club this month and I'm loving it. So I am like in the middle of part two, which is the day that we're on right now. We're on the second day of it. Um, but I have been doing a lot. I have a video uploading right now. I have everything kind of ready to go to clean in the house, but I just want to sit down and eat lunch and get to the actual book that I plan on talking about in this video, which I am crazy excited about. It's this one. It's Wild at Heart by K.A. Tucker. This is the sequel to The Simple Wild, which I am so excited about. This is one of my most anticipated reads of the year, and I'm so nervous because The Simple Wild is one of my favorite romances of all time, and I don't really want it to be ruined. Can you hear my dog just drinking? Like, he's just tanking up for a workout or something. He just drinks a lot. Sorry about that. But I'm nervous about this because I love The Simple Wild so much and I feel like it was such a complete story that it didn't really need to continue on, but we all wanted it to, so that's what this is. And I'm so excited. So I'm filming this on release day. I pre-ordered the ebook. I also pre-ordered technically the paperback yesterday, but I don't think that's going to get here today. So I am going to eat some lunch and start this. This might be a mistake because I do have a couple other things that I want to get done today, so I feel like I probably should have done that first, but I still have a little bit of audiobook of Discovery of Witches to go before I jump into just sitting on the couch and doing nothing but read this book. So that's what I'm gonna do. And you know what we could be Like a song, like a perfect melody Baby, don't Okay, I'm only two chapters in and I'm already hooked. I'm gonna read this for the entire rest of the day. What do you, can you come here? Can you get closer? Manny is gonna snuggle with me while I read this. But guys, I just love Kala and Jonah so much. I love her parents. I love everybody in this little world. And I'm so excited to go back to Alaska. Like it just starts basically just like how the first one did where she just kind of gets on a plane and flies to Alaska and I'm so excited. So I'm literally just gonna read this probably forever. Here I go. Okay, slight intermission. I just got a package in the mail and I was gonna pee my pants if this was actually going to be the finished copy of Wild at Heart so I could switch over to the paperback before I got too deep. But alas, it is not. Oh, hello. This is from Penguin Random House, which means this is most likely from Berkeley. So let's find out what this is together. I forgot what I said yes to in the like blogger mailer thing. Oh, this is not going to be an easy one. Where's the tabby tab? There it is. <sighs> Story of my life. Am I right? <laughs> um, because I filled out the form a while ago. This is... <gasps> This is a finished copy of Undercover Bromance. Uh, guys, this is one of my favorite series that's in the romance market. While we're on the topic of romance in this video, read this series. The Bromance Book Club was like hands down probably the best romance I read last year. And this is the follow up to it. And it is just as good. I don't love it as much, but this one still is great. Like I still love the characters. I still love the story. This kind of follows more of like a suspense 
romance storyline, both in the plot of this actual book and the book that they're reading. So it's great. I loved it. Thank you so much to Berkeley for sending this my way. I'm so excited to meet Lissa K. Adams. I'm so excited to continue with this series. I've already read this, but whenever the third one comes out, I'm so excited for it. So, okay, that was a little interjection. Gonna get back to reading now. Alrighty, I am going to take a break from reading uh, Wild at Heart. I am loving it. It's everything that I wanted it to be. We had a snowy, excuse you for yawning, we had a snowy cabin Christmassy scene. So you know I'm gonna be rereading this at Christmas time. We've already had some heart-wrenching scenes visiting, uh, spoiler for Simple Wild, visiting Ren's grave. And oh my God, I'm so, oh, I just love this story so much, so much, so. Um, I'm gonna take a break while it's still like daylight out basically and work on cleaning because I do need to finish up the like second half of today's section for Discovery of Witches. So I've got these in, gonna clean up the kitchen. Dog is drinking in the background yet again. Welcome to my life. Uh, and let's go. Baby, here in my heart. When I'm with you, I feel so much better. Um, yeah. Before you, I was just a shell, so stuck in the dark. update. Um, I, I'm loving A Discovery of Witches. Big fan. I'm not super far into it. I'm like 12, I think 13 chapters in right now. And I'm digging it. I don't realize how much I like paranormal stories until I'm reading it. And I'm like, all right, I do love these. Um, no, stay. Just stay. But I just hit chapter 10 of Wild at Heart. And y'all, there's a goat in this book. That is all already. Ooh, this is some lighting. I don't feel like setting up lights or anything right now. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna cut the vlog off here. I'm about 15 chapters in, I think. I'm like a third of the way through the book. I was hoping to finish more today, but I also don't want to rush reading this just for the sake of a vlog. Just know that I'm loving it. If you guys have not read The Simple Wild yet, read it. It's so freaking worth it. Um, it's the best K.A. Tucker book, in my opinion. I've read some of her other stuff, and her stuff is, like, all over the place with my taste and genres and things that I like in books. So this one, though, if you like the trope of, like, a city girl being tossed into the middle of the wilderness and, like, falling for, like, a rugged lumberjack mountain man type of character, along with a really awesome found family of, like, a small town in Alaska in like a really cool setting with just good family vibes. Ugh, read The Simple Wild and this book. I tried to keep this fairly 
um, spoiler free. Obviously we kind of know who the couple is. That's not exactly a spoiler because that's how like romance books go. But I'm just loving it. They have a goat and I can't handle it. I feel like that's just the thing right now. I feel like goats are just trendy. Maybe I hopped on this bandwagon at the ideal time because I feel like I'm seeing goats a lot in books and things nowadays and like movies. They were in a couple like Netflix Christmas movies I remember watching and I just I'm loving it. All of the goat representation. If that's like the cool animal to have, oh man, am I prepared. But I hope you guys enjoyed this like day in the life type of vlog. I have a cricket who is about to, yep, there she is. So that's gonna be it for this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.